Good evening everyone, welcome to <coughs> Sunday Night Facebook Live, um, it's been a while, it feels like it's been a while. Um, my name is Kelly Farley, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Karaka, Auckland, New Zealand. Um, and tonight we're going to do a technique, um, and we're using the, sorry I'm just going to shut the door a Okay, tonight we're using the reflection technique or the reversal technique. So sometimes you get images that are facing one direction. Um, so like this little, I think his is he a chipmunk or a skunk? And so you might want him to be facing the other way in the card. So instead of having to stamp him, you know, you can have him going the way that you want him going rather than changing the way that your card is. I'm also going to show you with an image such as like one of these that are curved one way you can go the other way. So the first way I'm going to show you is, let me just see if this has come up yet. Hi Andrea. <coughs> I can't see. Love it. There it is. Mute. Hi Catherine, hi Lisa. Alright, so tonight I've just got a piece of card which is a normal card base. <clears throat> and I'm going to start with... What's a blank screen? Oh, that's pretty... Um, makes things a little bit difficult. Hi Karen. Um, right, so we're going to start with this little... And I thought this little fellow here, this is this is called Zany Zoo. It's the first time I've used this stamp set. I thought this little fellow with the balloons was quite cute. And it would be nice to be able to have him there and then have a reverse of him that side. So, hi, so, so I'm going to pop this. Yeah, nope. That's too small. Yeah, so I'm going to pop them on there. Pop them on there. I have cut my um, card a bit big, so I might just trim that down so I don't lose half my image. <clears throat> I'll make up the cards for these after I've finished um, and then post them so that you can uh, see the finished product. So, but I thought would be um, more useful just to show you the technique first. So what we're going to do is one of the things that you need to consider is the ink that you're using. Alright, so a stays on ink won't work. Just putting that out there. Um, and it also won't work with our blends <coughs> because they are alcohol markers and they dry the ink dries almost immediately so you can't actually don't even use your blends on your stamp either because they'll color the stamp so i'm using i'm going to start off with because this one here i'm, I'm going to color in with the coloring pencil well i'll color in with, either with markers or coloring pencils um but you need to use the memento to get the reflection technique to work so what we're going to do is or you can use one of your normal color ones but i want the black outline um if you don't want a harsh outline like the black, you can use um, like a grey or something like that. So I'm going to pop that on and he is going to stand here. Oh, let's go this way. Let's put him here. So he's going to sit here and we're going to stamp there. And then what we want is him to be standing on that side but facing the other way. So what you're going to do is you need to get... Something like your silicon mat is a good place to, um, is a good option with maybe a piece of grid paper or your trimmer or something just to help you line it up. So if I put my trimmer <coughs> here, I can line this up with the bottom and I can use the grid marks in here to line it up. So if I was to put my card on here. I know that it needs to be underneath. I kind of want it about, about 
15 centimeters. So I want it to be about here. Okay. I'm going to pop it actually on this side because that means it'll be on the far end of the. So I'm just going to ink up my stamp as normal. Make sure you've got plenty of ink on there. And you're going to. I oh, know I just said that, but I can't get my block there. <coughs> so I'm going to pop it up here. And I'm going to stamp here. And we want to get it on a similar angle. And we're just going to stamp straight onto the silicon mat and get it up. To, it does move, so just be really careful that you don't smudge your image. Hopefully that'll be dark enough. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pop our piece here and using your, I'm using the trimmer to line it up, so just use that to line it up. You're just going to pop that down and then just press down really gently so that your silicon mat doesn't move. And what will happen What should happen is that your image then <coughs> is then reflected. So same image facing the opposite direction. Okay. So I think that's a really cool technique that you can use to use to make your stamps go a little bit further. Um so that one there means I can pop a little sentiment in there or I could cut them out and colour them in. Obviously if you're cutting them out and your, I used the wrong stamp, I was going to do that one, um, that's okay, um, <clears throat> and if they've got dies, the dies won't do the reflection, you could probably put them upside down, but you'd have to try and line it up, so you have to fussy cut that, so the other one, so if you don't have one of these, and then that just wipes off with a baby wipe, or your stamp cleaning mist, so it just wipes off, like so the other option if you don't have one of these which is very handy to have I have to say I actually use it a lot more for my um, hot glue if I'm making 3d projects with a hot glue gun um, but very handy for other techniques as well so I'm gonna pop this back in here now the next one I'll do so I'll show you if you don't have a silicon mat what you can use and I'm going to use some color for this one because I quite like that <clears throat> and I quite like that um, and they kind of both mm, curve um, and so then I would it would be quite cool to have that maybe I'll just use one of them and the daisy let's use the daisy so um I completely mm, no um I was just like completely I said to Matt earlier it's Saturday today eh he's like no it's Sunday it's been Sunday all day and I was like oh okay all right then Sunday it is um <clears throat> but I've got some exciting news we have been talking about it for a very long time but we went and visited a breeder today and bought ourselves a puppy uh, a little bit scary having to think about having another animal but um yeah he's super super cute eight weeks old we're gonna pick him up next saturday and he is a schnoodle so he's a schnauzer cross with a poodle and he's very cute all right so we're gonna use a piece of window sheet if you don't have a piece of window sheet because not all of us have window sheet you do have stamps and if you go to your i keep pulling out rubber stamps if you go to your photopolymer, 
<laughs> noodle this noodle. I know. We we haven't we haven't come to an agreement yet, but we're heading towards. Um, oh, I think it's funny because I think noodle would be a good girl's name, but it's a boy. Um, we're heading towards Teddy. Yes, OHP sheet definitely, Lisa. Um, but if you don't have any of that on hand and you want to give it a go, this is the piece that comes off the back of your stamp. So you've got a, a thinner one. That would work, but this just might be easier because it's a bit thicker um, to manipulate. So <clears throat> you can use either from your stamp set um, and or if you've got window sheet. If you don't have either of those, you could actually use a stamp case. You might want to take your stamps out and pop um, some stamp pads in it just to kind of um, firm it up a bit so that you don't have too much movement here. But um, you could so just use that um, and because you're just using a normal ink it won't mark it. You can show it on the back. So you just need that, that um, smooth reflective kind of feel so let's do <coughs> he yeah he looks like a real little teddy bear and he's really snuggly so i'm going this is pretty peacock a returning color in the first time that i've used this pad so it's a bit juicy but that's okay so i'm gonna pop that here I kind of want to have it nice and even. If you have, I don't have it, but if you have the set that's got the mountains and the trees and stuff in it, this is a really amazing um, technique to use to get like the reflection off the water. So if you've got the moonlight and you can have like your half your scene and then the reverse of it at the bottom which is always slightly lighter as well <clears throat> so I'm going to just for my brain I kind of need to have it there is it big enough have I got a piece that's big enough no Now remember, make sure that you get a really good solid press of that. <clears throat> and our water-based inks are pretty good. They stay wet for a reason, especially on this kind of material. And then what you can do is just, because it's easier, I'm going to pop it upside down. Then you just kind of line it up about where your other one is. And then you can press down. I always like to um, lift from the other side. So there's still some on here, but it is, <clears throat> I think I like the silicon mat. It maybe gives, there's a little tiny bit of um, resistance. If you've got like a silicon cutting board or something like that, that'll work as well. And then we just use our wipe. In there to clean off that and then that is ready to use again at some other point so then you can um, you could actually have them like overlapping each other as well you don't have to have them spread out but I wanted to show you the what they looked like um, let's go back to this one and put that Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to show you with this one. I got out the pecan pie, which is another one of our new colours, which I haven't used, and so I don't know what what it's going to be like. I kind of only want a little bit there. 
<coughs> so yeah, that was just because I couldn't be bothered getting my scrap. And then what I'm going to do is turn it over because it's wet. Stamp this again. Stamp it. Oh, now I'm going to need paper. Oh, I. And then, yes, I am. And then I can just lay that over the top and push it down if we use our block. To make sure as much of the ink is transferred as possible. Oh, it's a little bit. Oh, that was smart. I did it on the Stamping Up logo. That's why it's done that. What a plonker. Okay. And then there was that one little one. So if I stamp up here. <coughs> and then I can leave this up. And I can pop it about there. And you'll notice that it doesn't give you the same depth of colour as what it does with the original. So you could, if you wanted to balance that a little bit more, you could stamp off a bit so that you get that same even colour. Or, because um, essentially that's what's happening, it doesn't transfer every little bit of ink. Um, <clears throat> or you can um, leave it, but that's that's the nice thing with the reflection of like um, a scene card, is that the reflection's not actually supposed to be the same depth of colour, it's supposed to be um, a little bit different. So, that is our technique for tonight. I... Um, Oh, have I got some? I've got a stack of DSP here that I just finished cutting up. So, um, pretty peacock is hard to get off. It really likes the stamp. Right, get rid of those. Get rid of that. Let's see what have I got here. This is um, a very cool stack of paper. It is called Delightfully Eclectic. And it is definitely eclectic. It's got some swans. And then some crosses. And then some flowers. And some dots. And some stripes. And some flowers. Some pretzels. And then at the back of the pretzels. Stripes. And then... Oops alphabet and then on the back is some hearts these ones are cute you can cut out letters of the alphabet to make um, cards some more crosses this one um, matches a punch that's now out some journaling pages these are very nice daisies lemons on the back some more journal some black now it's a mix of white and vanilla as the base um, and then we've got Flowers with black geom uh, blue geometric, sorry, pink geometric strawberries, little white flowers, yellow, with, and then these lovely pink flowers as well with the black and white on the back. So, none of those really kind of go with the colours that I've chosen there. I didn't take that through. I've got eight minutes. Oh, that one might. Let's have a look at this one. move them in a bit never mind yeah I have a think about it um 
<clears throat> Let me see if there is some that go better with it than others. But uh, ladies that ordered the paper share, I have just finished packaging it up for you and um, it is ready to be ready to have the courier booked and be sent off <coughs> for you. So thank you very much for participating in that. Put that over there. So these are our two different options. So using the these two here as well, we're using the silicon mat, and then this one here using the acetate or the window sheet. So an option either way if you don't have you could actually wouldn't use it, but you could actually probably use your block. Uh, let's see if we can get one in there. We've got a few minutes, let's give it a go. Let's do the flower and I'll take this off because I know it fits on the block. You just have to remember that it's possibly going to be a little bit slippery. So I'm going to put this on here. Just also make sure that your block is clean. Use the other way around. The one's a bit cleaner. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to stamp. Oh, where's my paper? I'm actually going to do the stamp off thing. Stamp off, and then in there. Yeah, that's going to look a bit better, I think. And then we go there, and we're going to stamp. It's easier that way. I actually find holding the block on an angle easier, so I don't know about you ladies. We're going to stamp on our block. Bring it over here. Line it up. If it's going to overlap the other one. Press down firmly. That actually feels a whole lot easier on the block than it does on either of them. But it didn't work. Because it stayed on my block. Ha <laughs> ha. Whoops. Alright, so let's see. <sighs> do I need a do I need to breathe on it? Let's see if I can line that up. I don't think I can. No, that's just made it worse. It's still staying on my block. Well, we learnt something today. We learnt that you can't use a block. Either that or my blocks are too dirty. You're all very quiet tonight, ladies. Hope you're enjoying your... Oh, I'm reading this. I wonder if that'll make a difference. If I then do... That. And then I breathe on it. <sighs> Heavy breathing, sorry. And then if I line that up because there was a little bit of moisture behind it. Nope. 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 So, I've messed it up already, so I'm just going to line that up there. Here. That isn't going to be made into a card. Just saying. But you get, you get what I mean. So, silicon mat, I think, is probably the best. But if you don't have that then a, that's funny, it stayed on my block, um, then a piece of window sheet is your next best option. All right, I have got some names to draw prizes out from. Thank you ladies for um, sharing your creations. Karen, you've done an amazing, like so many of them, been a busy bee. Um, right, let me get this up. So I've got Jill twice, Andrea twice, Karen twice, and Sandra, Sandra once. So we're at seven. So let me flip you around so that you can see, and we will do our two draws. Good luck, ladies. Mm. Oh, 
there was a Jill. I think I think I saw only one as well, Jill. Or did I send it to you? No, I think I sent it to you. Um, so get in touch with me, Jill, and I will um send you some options for your prize. Congratulations. I'll write your name down. And the second one goes to Karen. Congratulations, Karen. Thank you very much for sharing your creations with us all, ladies. Um, whoops, where's my... I don't know what this is going to turn out like, but anyway. Um, thank you very much for sharing your creations with us, ladies. It's been, it's always amazing to see what people come up with. So, um, Karen, I will um, send you some options for you to choose from, and then I'll pop them in with um, your colour share when it arrives. Um, yeah. So thank you very much, ladies. I hope you enjoy your extra day off tomorrow and have an, a lovely long weekend. And I will see you back on Wednesday night um, for some more crafting. And I've got a card in mind um, for Wednesday night that hopefully um, will give you some time to do that before Sunday next week. All right. Bye for now. Thanks for joining me. Take care.